right, well, you can argue in terms of prospects coming up in this division, this man is as well-rounded as any fighter in the weight class. Tonight believes he'll have the striking advantage, but not afraid to grapple if the fight goes to the ground as well. Well, when you possess that type of skill, when you have all the abilities, you're not afraid of where the fight goes. This man believes that he's just better, and he has proven that every time he stepped into the octagon. He is well-rounded, and many say it, but this kid is well-rounded, and he has shown it in his octagon appearance. Yeah, it comes from a great camp, gets a lot of different looks, and health is wealth. When he's been healthy, he's looked like one of the best fighters in this division. So here's the Polish lightweight contender, Mataj Gamrod. A lot of people eventually expect to see a belt around his waist. Huge opportunity to close the gap here tonight. Well, John, he's got big goals. He's got big goals. He has big expectations for himself. But the only way you get expectation like this is to have the ability to try to go and chase that down. Gamrod has those abilities. He's a tremendous wrestler. He has unbelievable cardio, and he's a really good striker. He possesses A-plus skills, but how does he apply them tonight to get this victory over a very tough opponent. Reps American top team in South Florida. This is a former two-division KSW champion at 55 and 45. But as you know, it is UFC gold that Mataj Gamrod is after. All right, both fighters have graced the octagon, and that means we are ready to go with live action from the Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto, where some of the best fans in all of MMA have come out to see our fights here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. We send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. It's a first. Fighting out of the blue corner, Armin Ahakalakis Tarukian! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner, Mateusz Gamer! So Herb Dean, third man in there for this one. Right, all eyes on Armand Sarukyan as this round gets underway in earnest. Of course, all rounds begin on the feet, where Sarukyan has said he believes he will have a decided advantage here tonight. But don't be surprised to see him grapple. He's very instinctive when it comes to his takedown game, and you know if he gets the fight there, it could be a real problem for his opponent tonight. Chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. That one stuck in. Nice fight. Nice job to connect there with the left. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that, is, that it allows him to put forth this type of output and pace. When his opponent is done at two, he is stringing together four, five, six more different strikes. You don't do that without having fantastic cardio. Oh, lands that. Holy smokes! Hip tosses him down. Now we'll see if he can advance position. I mean, right into side control. Oh, he's got the floor position locked in now. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, but the submission defense wins this transition. Oh, nice movement to avoid that strike coming down. I need you to get Striking from every position lands a strike from the bottom. Making all these shots count. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Just over two minutes, round one. 
Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. And another one. Another strike from the top. Lands for him. Oh, slick reversal right there. All right, so he can't get it here again. Good awareness by the defensive fighter. Let's go. Oh, how about that transition to top position? Beautiful work by Sarukyan. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. Hammer fist here by Sarukyan. Well, he grounded him, and now he's trying to pound him out. Great ground strikes here. On oh, another punch on the ground, gets through. May need some defense here. 30 seconds left. Sarukyan is looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. Fight. Man, how good is this? Back and forth we go. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Come on, come on. high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Let's All right, it. second round underway. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Clipped him with a right hand there. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Huge he land. Toss as he takes him down. Now we'll see what he can do with it. Right into side control. Beautiful transition. Back mount now. Yes, yeah, smart adjustment. Yep. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Saruk Yan getting absolutely worked here from the top. These are some very effective ground and pound strikes. North south position, crowd just can't help itself but to laugh. He's in a dominant position. Look at him attacking the wrist. Oh, that Kimura looks tight. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling. Expending all this energy, trying to hold the guy down. I mean, it's, it's, it, no takedown is not fought. No reversal is not fought. Everything they're doing is fought to the very last minute before it gets given up. Working out of the half guard here. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Another strike gets through from the top position. Great job landing the strike from his back. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. 
but he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. All right, right into side control, upper body strength figures to be put to good use here. Yes, absolutely. And you got to look for his opponent to turn back into him. He should chase guillotine, but the opponent turns to the opposite side. He can take his back, throw his hooks in, try to choke, or flatten them out and just go for the finish. Well, right, three next shot. All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, let's look back at some of the action in that round, DC. What a high-level display of offensive wrestling. I mean, this is a joy for me to watch. I enjoy watching a guy maintain this level of wrestling for as long as he has done this. He is constantly in his opponent's face. He's constantly taking him down. Getting taken down and getting up is exhausting. Let's see how tired his opponent is at the start of the next round. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Let's get back up. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Gamera. Oh, another strike lands from the top. Nice strike lands from the bottom flight. Continuing to work out of the half guard. Now he's going full mount. Side control now. Oh, staying busy, fighting off of his back, and he lands. Ooh, that Kimura looks tight. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with the submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense has held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job staying out of those submissions. Let's get that side control going. Oh, big shots from the top. Another one. I mean, he cannot miss from the top position. Oh, to the mount. That was a slick transition. All right, right into side control here, DC. Biggest different, Gamrot's looking for that arm triangle. Oh, it's getting very, very deep. Oh, how good is that as he gets out? That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Take the back, over under. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Sarikyan's back into full guard. That's a heck of a strike to land from bottom position. Camera going to work here from guard and doing a pretty good job, I might add. Beautiful ground strikes landing. Gamrot's in half goal. Another ground and pound strike lands. And that'll do it, 15 minutes in the books. All right, take a seat. Breathe for me. Let's slow that heart rate down. Breathe. Relax. Okay, listen. If you're not tired, I know you've got more in you than that. All right, a lot of highlights from which to choose over those previous five minutes, DC. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, and for all the good that he did in that round, it was the punching that really led to him really taking control of the fight. He did a great job finding his shot over and over again. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's do it. Fourth round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. 
All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon. Look. Oh, big hook. That'll sting. some significant body shot. Whoa! All right, so now we are on the ground. Now he is in his wheelhouse. We'll see if he can get one of his submissions to pop here tonight. Oh, right into Mount. And busy as he looks to improve position here. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Sarukyo. Get the ball here. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Gamera. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Yep, got to be very careful there. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Keep working and give me those elbows. Oh, what do we got here? Looks like an arm triangle attack. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, that's got to be it. I don't know. That's in so deep. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's trying to buck the hips. Looked like he got the hand ready to tap. I mean, look at that. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Not panicking in a position that is very, very difficult to deal with. Oh, hard ground strike there, and that one opened up a cut. Well, this is a tough fighter to buck off. Very good pressure and work here by Gamera. And the ground strike starting to pile up. Gamrot's able to transition back to side control now. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Sarukhan's so face is a hot mess, man. That cut on his cheek is getting worse by the minute and worse with every strike landed by his opponent. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready to fight? You ready? Do Fifth it. and final round. Sarukhan gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Big power shot there. Oh my God! Oh, that's it. That's it. Unbelievable. Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 22 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Mateusz Gamer! Oh, well, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers how soon.